I am Lotte Rekumbula. Welcome to the Bangkok International Sevens. Well, there's no doubt that this is a country that's mad about football, but the game of rugby is on the rise here in Thailand and across Asia. In fact, the game of rugby sevens is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Now, we are here at the 21st International Bangkok Rugby Sevens, and there's no doubt we've seen some great rugby action from the guys. But some of the most inspirational teams here have been the girls. Dave, here is the man behind the scenes at the Bangkok Rugby Sevens, and how is the turnout this year? It's been great. We've had uh, a lot of good teams, and uh, spectators are starting to build towards the finals, and very happy. Now, what's the most exciting team here, in, in your opinion? The Campuchia women's team. I think it's remarkable. First time outside of their country. They've scored the first try against Australia, which is a key we always like to beat the Australians. A la the Don't World rub Cup. it in. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's great to see that there are girls getting into this sport too, isn't it? it that's part of what we're about as the, the Bangkok Sevens. We want to foster women's rugby in Southeast Asia. It's growing and growing and growing. It's the fastest growing sport in the world, rugby sevens. And women's rugby is growing f even faster. So we foster that and we want to help. We sponsor the Kampuchea team, the Lao team, um, the BDOC Kings. It's, it's very important to us as a tournament to see them grow and we're seeing quality teams coming as well. The Japanese B team, the Singapore development team, we're very happy. In fact, there were 12 international women's teams at the 2015 event. They played hard and tough and received a rousing response from the spectators. As we heard, the young Cambodian team was one of the favourites. Well, one of the most inspiring young teams here today is the Cambodian girls team and well done, how do you feel? I feel good, happy because uh, Cambodia let all the girls play rugby, but now the girl Cambodia come to Thailand, very, very happy and play with the, un, under, under the team <laughs> and I'm very, very happy. <laughs> now tell me a little bit about their story too. It's an amazing story, isn't it? Yeah. So all those girls come from an NGO called Pour un Sourire d'Enfant. It's a French NGO, PSE. So they used to live in a very, very disadvantaged area when they were young. And uh, thanks to uh, PSE, now they are able to go to school and to vocational training. And, uh, and with the partnership PSE made with uh, Kampuche Abal Up, they can do uh, weekly rugby training. So uh, in Cambodia, the women rugby is not very well developed. There is only two teams in Cambodia. So it was uh, a big dream coming true for them to be uh, participating in such a, such a big tournament. Wow. Now you had three objectives, what were they? So our first objective was to uh, participate and to well represent Cambodia. Our second objective was to try was, was to try to score one try. And our third objective was to try to win a game. And uh, we scored two tries yesterday and we won a game this morning against uh, Bangkok Bangers. So we are more than happy because we fulfilled all our objectives and Fantastic. we receive a lot of support and congratulations from all the team around the, the well, well done. Now, we've said some of the most inspirational rugby has been the girls here this weekend. And would you agree with me? By far, yeah, yeah, definitely. Some of these girls definitely. Have got some guts. Yeah. 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 Now, you're the Australian Navy team, yep. Navy girls team, and you are up against the young girls from Cambodia. Yeah. Okay, little tiny girls. Yeah. How, how, how was that? <laughs> it's quick. a little bit daunting. Yeah, they're really fast. I think we're more scared than they are of us, yeah. but at the same time, we were lucky that they were, yeah, they're so tiny. That's it, yeah, we had to bring some, some tactics out. Yeah. So, yeah, we had Spread to definitely change our game up a little bit. <laughs> That's great that you're here. Where, where are you actually based? Uh, all over the place. Yeah, so, some in Darwin, some yeah. in Cairns. I'm from Sydney, some yeah, in Melbourne. I'm in Melbourne, so. So it's literally we, all around Australia. Yeah. Why do you play rugby sevens? It's a good intense game, it's quick. Yeah. I like how quick it is. Yeah. It's quick, gets us moving on our feet. So, it's yeah. good fun. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's good fun. There were eight international men's teams and several Asian-based social teams. Thailand was well represented at the event, with some intense rivalry between the Royal Thai Police and Thai Air Force. 
And one of the top teams here today was the Thailand police team and you're their manager. Yes, I'm a team manager. Are you pretty proud of the team? Yes, very proud because uh, today is very hot, very hot but, and the Thailand Thai force really fast. But I'm, I'm trying to do it the best. <laughs> yeah, you do it the best. Rugby players start young these days. Now that Rugby Sevens is about to become an Olympic sport again, its popularity with both men and women will no doubt grow even more. Rugby Sevens legend Lote Rakabula agrees. He was the special guest at the Bangkok International Rugby Sevens tournament. As the longest serving New Zealand Sevens player of all time, with more than 60 tournaments and two Commonwealth Games gold medals, he says rugby changed his life. Well, Lotte is the special guest here at the Bangkok International Rugby Sevens, and great to see you. Thank you. It's yeah, your second you. time here, isn't it? Yes, yes, my second time here, and uh, just like my first time, still enjoying it and loving it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some pretty good action over the last two days, hasn't it? Yeah, oh, the standard has improved big time from last year. And uh, that's good, you know, it's good to see and uh, it's, it's a positive thing every year for this tournament and for this region. So uh, there's a lot of teams stepping up and uh, like I said, I've been here last, I uh, came over last year and uh, this year I definitely, definitely see the improvement. We have to kick it up to go for the line out, we do. Yeah. Okay. On that field over there, everyone is even, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. That's one thing I love about rugby, um, and and it's good. Like for myself, I've been quite uh, blessed that uh, you know rugby has taken me a lot of places, and uh, and and that's what's doing to, to to this level as well. You know, like you said, the Lion Girls and Kebondi and coming all the way. If it wasn't for rugby, I don't think they would be able to do that. Then it was time for the awards. The international men's team grand final winner was the Pacific Warriors from New Zealand. The top award for the women's division went to the Royal Thai Air Force team. All in all, some great rugby and some true sporting inspiration.